here we have some of our newest designs and uh, when people hear Kalashnikov group, first of all they imagine Kalashnikov, you know, some kind of modified version, but as you can see here, all those weapons are new uh, and uh, never seen before. This is a compact assault rifle, AM-17. They have versions in two different calibers. First is 545 and you can see our new magazine with transparent windows. The next version is a, a 939, which is a specialized subsonic Russian round, uh, made quite famous by we weapons like Vintares or VSK-94. Uh, but for a while, nobody made any new designs in this caliber. And this subsonic round is really, really unique. So this is our offer uh, to the units that use this round and need a capable, short-range uh, silenced weapon. The next weapon is called SVC. This is, uh, again, a completely new design. You have upper and lower receiver. It is in two calibers, 7.62x54 and 7.62x51, also known as 308 Winchester. It's a very capable designated marksman rifle. Uh, this one uses a magazine from a um, 308 Tiger. The other one uses an SVD magazine. And uh, there are two different barrel lengths. Uh, you can see the longer barrel here. You'll see the shorter barrel uh, soon. And, uh, you know, again, a very, very interesting design. The accuracy with the prototypes was very good. With a 10-shot group, it was one minute of angle, which is, you know, if you know anything about firearms, it's very, very impressive for a 10-shot group. So um, this is something we hope to see, you know, in just a few years in mass production. Next weapon is uh, designated as a TB2. It's a prototype of a police sniper rifle for law enforcement units. Uh, what makes it interesting, it's a straight pull rifle, so it's not a traditional bolt action, much like a blazer. You just uh, pull it back, pull it forward. has a very nice trigger already. So again, very much, a lot of interest because in Russia we didn't really have a designated a police sniper rifle, and this is again our offer uh, for this uh, for this type of weapon. And the last one here is a 50 BMG uh, single shot sniper rifle. We have versions for uh, Russian 12.7 round, also for a 50 BMG for the import. And uh, you know there is, especially now with the modern warfare, there is plenty of demand for a 50 caliber rifle, and we never had a 50 caliber rifle before. So this is what we have right now. This is the offer we have. It's a prototype, but what we want to do is to get the feedback from all the units, all the agencies, law enforcement agencies right now before it's too late. So we're getting a lot of information, a lot of requests, and uh, you know, a lot of interest on this rifle. Here's SVC. Uh, last year, the earlier prototype was called SVK. Uh, the CHE stands for the first letter of the name of the designer, Chukavin. It's a designated marksman rifle, very lightweight, less than uh, around four kilograms. Even with a thermal scope, it is quite lightweight. This version uses 762 by 54, just like the SVD. And you can see that we're still using the original SVD magazine because there are plenty of them in the Army, and that would really simplify the logistics. So relatively short barrel, very good accuracy, a full length rail, so you can have day optics, night, uh, night optics, you could put a night vision in front of your day optic and still use it, which is very popular right now. A lightweight folding stock with an adjustable cheek riser. Very ergonomic safety, you have it, it's ambidextrous, you have it on both sides. There is a paddle mag release, which works with an SVD magazine, which is, you know, wasn't easy, but it works very well. And right now we have a Russian thermoscope on top of it, so uh, people are really interesting and uh, are interested. They sometimes are seeing the thermal scope for the first time in their life, you know, in action. So again, it's uh, the weapon. Uh, it's in the same class with HK417 Scar H, and uh, for now, for now, this is one of our most uh, demanded projects. Uh, again, it's in both caliber 760 by 54 and 308. And a lightweight designated marksman rifle is something the uh, Russian army needed for a long time. And also, as we know, some militaries, uh, they have battle rifles as their primary weapon for every soldier. So we're uh, not really designated as only designated marksman rifle or a battle rifle. Our mission is to make a good weapon and then uh, the client can decide uh, what it is exactly in his uh, armament system.
first time at Army 2017 exhibition, we're presenting PL15K. Uh, K means uh, stands for compact Kurtz. It is a version of a Lebedev pistol, but in the size of a Glock 19. As we know right now, this size is really you know what everyone uses, SAS, a lot of US Special Forces, and that is something that a lot of companies right now are producing. Walther PPQ, a lot of weapons in uh, this size and in this format. You still have 14 rounds in the magazine. One is in the chamber, so 15 rounds, that's a sufficient amount. It's, uh, it's very similar uh, to the standard version, but it's just a bit shorter. And a lot of people are really, really interested because that's basically the perfect size for a modern service handgun. Another, another weapon that we have right here at the moment is a con concept of a MP444. You can see this is, a, again, a new design that we have. Uh, for the first time, we're actually showcasing at this exhibition. So uh, really uh, not a very typical design. It's a, a double action striker fired weapon. Uh, and again, a lot of people are really interested because you can see that the design here is very good. Usually the first prototypes are very crude, but I think that's just the, uh, that's, you can see just the opposite. It's a very good looking gun and we're gonna work on this project. And uh, hopefully in a few years, we're gonna have a, huge, uh, a whole line of new pistols.